the work we do with our special education students is extremely important. Our mission is to, to reach all kids wherever they come from and whatever their challenges may be. Uh, certainly in special education services, those challenges are pretty wide and varied. I mean, from severe and profound to, to students that need just a little bit of support in the, in the regular ed classroom. We don't ever want to have people perceive that we are two different entities, that this is special education and this is general education. Um, every special ed student is a general education student first. I appreciate and love the special ed department. They are an awesome part of what we do at Scott Johnson Elementary. We have a partnership with HISD. We work with the teachers, they work with us, and we share information for the betterment of, of our kid. You know, what we're proud of in Huntsville is that, um, is that you don't apply to come to Huntsville ISD. You know, you enroll in Huntsville ISD, and so we don't turn kids away. So regardless of the need uh, for that student, then we, we do our very best to serve that child. Um, and special education is a big part of that. Special education is, has a lot of moving parts. Uh, we start with the identification of the needs for special education. So a referral is made either by a campus or a parent. Then the assessment takes place. The assessment is very detailed, very involved. It takes uh, quite a bit of time, sometimes up to 20 hours for observations, testing with the child, writing the report, coming up with uh, great um, recommendations for the classroom and the campus to implement. After the assessment is completed, then we come to ARD and discuss and review the assessment and determine if there is a need for special education. In that ARD meeting, if it is determined that special education is needed, then we create an individualized education plan and that is implemented immediately to help the student make progress. So many things they do are behind the scenes. People really don't understand what they do and they put in countless hours. They work tirelessly to help kids that have struggles. Uh, it's not all about pull-out services and, and trying to single out students by removing them from the general education because we believe with the right supports that we can assist teachers, both general education and special education students, to give them um, the tools by which they can instruct these students. So I would say that I'm the content specialist and that Ms. Rayner is the specialist in making sure each child can learn specifically with their needs. So she and I work as partners in the, in the classroom. Ms. Rayner actually works with all of our students. She obviously has students that have IEPs that have specific accommodations and she absolutely makes sure that those are being met. But if there's ever a kid in our class when we're working in small groups or when we're working in stations, um, she is absolutely available as am I to make sure that every kid can be successful. So she works with all of our students in class. They're general ed kids first and then special ed kids second, elementary, intermediate, and high school. You know, we're all, we're all working together for the same goal. So that these kids can be active in society and, and do what they dream of doing, um, not just what I think they're capable of doing. Um, and I'm gonna do everything to build that foundation now so they can get to that point later. One of the larger roles of our department, um, in addition to identifying, assessing, and creating plans um, for students, is that we support teachers in classrooms. Uh, we're blessed to have teacher specialists and behavior coaches uh, that spend a lot of time in the classrooms, um, in action, modeling, giving uh, guidance and suggestions, helping teachers um, adapt materials, create materials, um, understanding accommodations and modifications within a student's IEP. Um, we also provide professional development um, in relation to uh, paperwork for special education, so preparing our documents, um, running art smoothly, and making sure that we have high communication with parents. We consider the special ed department a vital partner at Scott Johnson Elementary. Partnership with our district and Sam Houston State to where we're able to take our, our kids that are in life skills and then also in the adaptive PE program to be able to go and work with Sam students one-on-one. -on -one.
tortilla. And so we connect with the families and the students with community agencies such as Tri-County, uh, Texas Workforce, and um, that way the students and the families have a connection for life after high school. We've had a wonderful experience, um, not only in HISD, but especially with the special ed department. They've always listened, they've partnered with us, and they care about my son. I do know that. And we can't thank people enough for what they've done for our family. Well, in Huntsville ISD, you know, we have opportunities for all. So regardless of the needs of that child, then we accept that student and we do everything in our power to deliver services. That's true of special education and all other students. Um, that, that is our mission, that's what we do. Because public education, and Huntsville ISD in particular, is about educating every child without denying any student a proper education.